Hello, hello, friends. So uh, I had a friend of mine ask me last night how to uh, reverse a doubly linked list in JavaScript. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, I didn't know how to do it. I hadn't. Uh, it's just you don't work with uh, that kind of stuff very much uh, in the day to day. So I thought it would be a good opportunity because he had told me, he was like, well, man, I tried to find like some tutorials on YouTube and I couldn't. So I figured it would be a good thing to do to try and not just figure out how to reverse a linked list, but write out a linked list and talk about what they are. So I'll do a small series on doubly linked lists. I already have one on linked lists that I did a little while back. I just haven't uploaded it yet. So I'll just upload both of them. But uh, basically, uh, doubly linked list, it's a way to... Uh, store data uh, differently than it's a little bit more advanced or advanced might not be the right word a little bit more versatile way to store data than in an object or in a uh, in just a regular old built-in array so the idea is that a doubly linked list is a list that has a series of nodes and the nodes point to the nodes in front of them and the ones behind them uh, that's actually wrong that should be shoot Hang on, my diagram's wrong. So let's take this node, for example. Its next node that it points to would be this node. And its previous node that it points to would be this node. So each node has a next and a previous property on it. Also has the value property because this zero represents the node with the little bit of information that it'll have in it, uh, the value that it'll have in it. So the linked list, doubly linked list itself has a tail and has a head, and that's how you keep it sorted. The, head, the tail is always going to have a next value of null, and the head is always going to have an, a previous value of null, right? So let's start writing these out, and, and I'll, in this video, I'll probably set up the classes and write like a, maybe a push method to push stuff in, and then we're going to do push, pop, shift, unshift, insert, remove, and finally reverse, which is the whole reason that I started messing with this stuff. So um, yeah, we'll just run through it real quick. So let's just set up a class for our node. So let's go class node. And then within that class, we're going to have a constructor. Constructor. And that constructor is going to take a value when it's initialized. And then that value is going to be this dot value value that's passed in and we'll do this dot head and we'll set the head equal to null upon initialization same with the tail head equals null tail equals null so that's a that's a node so let's just check let's go let node equal new node with a value of one and then we'll console log that node and just see what we're working with here and make sure everything's good here uh, what was the name of that node uh, data. Okay, so we've created a node it has a value of one, a head of null, and a tail of null. Cool. So you can create as many of these as you want and point the head and tail, not the head and tail, the previous and next. Jesus. We'll call it prev and next. I don't know why I put head and tail there. Let's double check. Shoot. Um, next. Okay. There we go. So now this node has a value of one. It has no previous and no next. And that's the basic skeleton of a node. So let's do class uh, doubly linked list. Uh, we'll do our constructor for that. Constructor. That's not going to take in anything. We'll go this.head equals null. This.tail equals null and then we'll set them as we go this dot and you also want to keep up with the length of it this dot length equals uh, zero you'll start out at zero cool so uh, I guess we'll create a let uh, list equal new doubly linked list and then we'll console.log list shouldn't have anything in it cool double linked list the heads null the tails null and the length zero but we've got all the properties that we want, which is fine. So within our doubly linked list class, let's do a push method because we want to be able to push things onto the 
onto the list. First thing we'll do, if not this dot head. So if there isn't a head, if there's no head already, that means that it's empty because any time that you push something in, it's going to become the head or the tail. So if there is not, if there is no head, if this not head, if not this dot head, uh, then we'll want to do this dot head equals node. This dot tail equals node. Now you might be saying, well, where does that node come from? So let's create a node. We'll let node equal new node with a value passed in. So we'll have to pass the value in. We'll, the value in when we push it. So we'll create a new node with a value that's passed in. And then we'll check, is there a head? Meaning, is this list empty? If it is, then we'll, we'll set the head and the tail to this dot node, this dot node. Else, if it's not empty, if there's actually stuff in there, let's go let temp equal this dot tail. So we'll store a temporary variable for the tail. And then what we need to do is point the new head, its previous property to be the tail, and the tail's new next property to be the node that we passed in. So we'll go, this dot tail equals node, so we'll set the tail to that, and then we'll go node dot prev equals temp, and temp dot next equals node, right? Then what we want to do is this dot length. We want to increase that no matter what, and we want to return this, which is the whole list. Okay, I gotta quit erasing this. So let's let list equal new uh, doubly linked list and then we'll console log list at the end but before that we need to list.push a value of one in and see what happens so we're going to console log what we push in okay so when we push in we've got a head node with a value of one with no previous and then we've got a next node with a value of one with no previous. And then the tail is also the same, one. So this one is the head and the tail, and it has neither a previous nor a next, which is good. And, it ha and the, the list itself has a length of one. Cool. So let's try to push another one on there and see what happens. And when we push this one on, you'll see that the head value is still one. Its previous is still null. Its next value now is a value of two and its previous value is circular. Now what does circular mean? Circular means that it's pointing to this value. So on the on the if you're looking at this head node, its next value is a node that its net its value is two and its previous value is this one right here. It's well it's this head node so it says circular. And then its next value is null for the for the the next value from this first node. Then if you look at the tail, the tail's value is now two. Its previous value is node one that has a previous of null, which is right here and right here. And its next from this from this node one right here is circular, meaning that it's pointing to this tail node right here. It's a little confusing, but then the next node is null. So we have, long story short, we have a head that has a previous value of null, which we want. Its next value is a node. Then we have a tail who has a, pre, who has a value of two, a previous value of the head node, and it has a next value of null. And the length is two, so that's what we want. So let's push on one more just to make sure everything's good. Oops. And let's take a look. Okay, so here if we look at the tail now, the whole thing has a value of, of three, a length of three. But now our tail is that new value we pushed in of three. Its previous value is a node because it's not pointing in a circular direction. It's just pointing to that second node with a value of two and its next, its next property is actually this tail for the one before this. And then the tail's uh, Next property is null, which we want. The head's property, previous property is still null, and it points to the next node. It has a circular relationship here, and then the node after that is next. Cool. So, so far, everything's working good. And that's, if you haven't worked with these before, that's a little bit confusing. So go ahead and take a look through it. And then in the next video, I'll do the uh, pop method. And then I'll, I'll do one video that has pop 
shift and unshift because those are all fairly similar. And that's what the next video will be. Cool, cool. Take it easy.